What up, YouTube? It's Reverend Heather here, out riding my bike with the hubby, one of my bikes. We are on our way to Southside, and we're taking it easy. And look at the view. The last year, when we were here, remember the livestock? Well, this is where they all were. Well, except for over here. But up there is trails that you can go up to. Right now, we're at Southside Park, in case you wonder where we're at. All right, now we're on a trail. Sorry guys, I don't do GoPro and pedal at the same time. I literally have to stop to do a video. And of course, one of our bikes is in front of me, but we're down south side. This is one of many trails that we take. And you'll see people out there with the dogs. And then over there's the water. This is one of our favorite places to go every time we go. This is our first bike ride of the season. When I'm off today, it's gonna to be like 80 degrees in Pittsburgh. So it's actually like a nice little day to do bike riding. And a little bit of gravel, so I'm just taking my little time. And of course, Hubby likes to fly on here, but I don't. So I'll just like give you guys a little bit of the scenery where we're at. And we're gonna be down by the wharf. And I'm in four gear. So I try to make it a little harder for me to pedal. And this is sometimes if we, we drive, this is where we park down here. Yeah, I'll show you some of the water. If I can ever catch up to my husband. I'm not sure which way he went. Where the fuck did he go? And we and there's my husband. And then you just go like that. And we're back on the trail again. We just took for a quick brief break. It's a nice day out to be bike, uh, boating as well. The wharf's right down there. It's where we usually see our geese and sometimes the ducks. And sometimes in the spring and early uh, summer, you'll see ducklings. But I don't think there's any right now. But give it about another month or two, you'll see a whole bunch of little ducklings and little geeselets and whatever else. And we are going on a different trail. But I don't like this because there's a whole bunch of cars, so you gotta watch the cars. And there's a lot of bikers out today. And people on scooters. And there's a lot of walkers and joggers. And over there's the wharf, that's the river. Like I said, we're just taking a really nice bike ride today. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day for April. And I don't mind the people in the video, they're just people. I'm gonna be in easier gear. So I can do steady pedaling. I, I don't know what gear he's in, but this is what we always do. He's always ahead of me. I like to take my time. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit the like button. Always leave me a comment. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Well, I'm back on the bikes and go pedal some more. And there's always birds out here flying around. I don't know what they are, but they're really cool birds. See if I can't get like really good video of them. 
But this trail goes on and 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 on. But, oh, since everybody knew about my accent, about my elbow, um, I'm back to being on full duty. And it's just spring. Since I'm back to full duty, I'm back to cutting meat again. I cut two boxes of boneless pork yesterday and two out of another box. So my meat cutting is actually coming along pretty good. So I really appreciate everybody giving my husband on his channels a lot of love and support about my elbow, but it's much better. It's still healing. so. I'm gonna see people with their dogs out here too. <sighs> There's always homeless people here too, camping out. Which is a shame. But, and we're just back on the trail taking a really nice bike ride with the husband, one of our bikes. Just enjoying the beautiful day out because I gotta work tomorrow till 6 30. So, and I'm going back to do my meat, my meat cutting stuff tomorrow. Just not sure what I'm gonna be cutting. I always find out when I get in there what I'll be cutting and what I'll be doing next. You always see graffiti on here. try not to film other people because they don't want to be on camera which is understandable yeah. and then people were spray painting so. some people are very talented with their graffiti I wish I could do something like this but of course not we're actually coming down to where you guys will actually see some graffiti. Like I said, there's a lot of talented people in Pittsburgh. That's pretty cool. So, I'm just gonna see if you guys can actually see the artwork. I'm not a A lot of graffiti here. Lots and lots and lots of graffiti. Oh, a lot of people out today. Graffiti. Just thought I'd show you guys some of the clips. Just looking at the people.
check it out. This is definitely new. Slide Fox Brewery. Huh. This is in Southside. And there's Anytime Fitness. Always open. I mean, have a nice time. I'm gonna go do the gym. Check that thing out. What? I said, check that thing out. We're way past. Watch yourself for the bike coming. I don't like bridges, and you'll see why. You'll see the river on my right, and I'm surrounded by water, and then there's uh, train tracks, and then hubby's behind me. And this is where we're crossing, we're going across the street, down that bridge. actually takes you down to the point which we were just in station square now we're going to the point i'm trying not to go too freaking fast because i don't like i said i don't like hills but you know, this is uh oh look there's geese and some birds they're nesting making a nest because they're getting ready to have babies. Oh, I think I put my hand on, missed, and ran into the wall. Let's go like that. Go that way. Show what I should do. There's Heinz Field. And then there's Carnegie Science Center. Look at all the people. Look at all the people. This is the point. This is where we usually get our feet wet. But look at everybody. There's a lot of people out here. 
We're in downtown Pittsburgh, but look at all the people. There's a lot of people, and then over on the bridge, you're back at the point. But yeah, there's the hubby. There's, like I said, there's a lot of bikers out, walkers, everything. And then down there, of course, is where you see downtown Pittsburgh. There's a lot of fur people out today. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. Pigeon. down the ramp. Wow, I'll be damned. I swear. This is where we go to go back to south side. This is what you call Station Square. And watch this little bump. You don't have to saddle. 
need to wash the cars. You guys are fine. <laughs> like I said, always a little traffic jam. Now we're gonna make a right back onto the other trail. I gotta take some pictures. I'm trying to give you guys a little sightseeing of Station Square. I don't know what the hell that is, but that's a big ass wheel or something. We're, we're going past it. And we're going back on this trail. Oh yeah, this is Station Square. This is part of Pittsburgh. And we're just taking a little sightseeing back to the south side. It's like I said, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And I'm still in easy gear and I forgot to change it back to harder gear. There we go, now I'm in harder gear. Oh my god, I did it again. Is it dang click all the way? <laughs> and of course, my husband was waving to everybody. I said there's a lot of people on their bikes today it's like i said it's a beautiful day and you can hear the birds chirping don't know where they're at i just don't want to get shit on but yeah there's a whole bunch of birds uh, we're not in that big of a hurry to get back to home There's a lot of them in Pittsburgh. Hmm. I'm not used to this trail. I went back to Slight Fox. I'm 
Right. I don't want to ride over the baby numbers. Yeah, take off this hat. And we're back in the south side. Back to south side. Back to south side. South side. South side. Oh, we went over 11 miles already, so we did it pretty damn good. But from work back to my house is about 4.3 miles, and I've been walking that to last mm, three days. So I put I put in a lot of mileage on my feet and on my legs. Plus, working an eight-hour shift, you know, my feet for most of it, so you know, sometimes we sit here and take a break. So this is where all the graffiti is. Like I said, people do like really good job over here with the graffiti. And you always have bikes on this trail. This trail wasn't always this nice actually kind of crappy but when they paved it made it much, much nicer to ride much nicer to ride they always got bikers and joggers and people with rollerblades they skateboards yada 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 whatever they want to do anything to get exercise but it's my day off. It's decided to spend it with the hubby and go bike riding. You know, it's good for the mind, for your mind and everything. Good. Hope you guys like the videos. Me back on riding my bike. We just had Mike and Tony's gyros for a late lunch. Whenever you're in Southside, that's what you need to do. You need to stop at Michael Tony's and get yourself a gyro. They got the best gyros in town. And they're very, 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 very fulfilling. We did about almost 15 miles today. So we've been out since about 12 o'clock. I know we don't lie in the street, but we decided it not to ride it on the sidewalk. We decided to ride in the street. Well, he calls it street instead of street. It's a Pittsburgh thing. But we're not in the rush to actually get home, so where I used to work before I went back to Giant Eagle. And there's a little dinosaur. To my left is Family Dollar and Frank Promises Giant Eagle. So yeah. Before we actually head back home, because we got a long pedal of pecking ahead of us. So I know there's Family Dollar where I used to work for a good 10 months, and then Popeyes was right next door. They got good food too. Because I didn't get it before. Now we're, now we're finally heading back on our way home. Up 
there, see if I can't get it. Did you record that? Uh-huh. I don't know if you guys can see the bird, but he's wearing that little pole. I don't My know wife's I'm... trying to learn how to hold the camera. <laughs> he's a pretty bird. And there you guys, he's flying off. Just to get you guys a little nature view. Oh, well, we're almost time here from YouTubers. We're on the home stretch. Just let to do a quick little video before we actually get to the hills. Just glad to be almost home because this was a really long ride. We did almost 18 miles. And we're still not done yet. Because we still got to take a walk after this. So our legs don't get cramped. It's always a good thing to do after you do a really long um, on your bike or whatever activities you actually do. It's always nice to stretch your, stretch your legs out so your legs don't get tight, your muscles don't get tight. You want to keep it loose because well, you'll pay the price tomorrow if you don't like stretch out your muscles and you know relax them. So. Just I do a quick little video on the way home. I don't like hills. I I I at my brakes. I mean, look at my husband, he flies down here. I don't like it because the concrete's not even and I get too much speed and I just don't want to fly from the handlebar, so you feather your brakes. So that way uh, you, you know you slow down. I'm sorry, I'm a female but I don't like to go real fast, as you can tell. But I actually love riding my bike. I actually enjoy it. It releases your mind at ease. See, he's on one. And of course, you gotta watch cars. Push your freaking parking lot. I'll catch up to him. I just really don't like the flat because you gotta watch where the glasses and stuff, and you gotta watch these cars because they don't care about you. I mean, they can't kind of block the freaking road. This is the hill we always walk up to go shopping today. So we're almost home. Whew. And sorry guys, this is going to be a long ass video. So, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button. And remember, do whatever makes you happy.